Welcome to another episode of Animation Analysis. As always, I'm Sam. And I am Immortal. Okay, and this time we'll be we'll be taking a look at the latest episode, the second episode of season nine, Scarlet Witch vs. Atana. Yes, we are. <laughs> okay, that was a really long pause. I, you know, I could edit that out, but I think it'll be really funny for them to just have just a really long pause there. I didn't know what to say after that. <laughs> okay, but uh, going on with this uh, episode, it's an. I know people are gonna be annoyed because it's well, Marvel versus DC again. But you might be surprised with what more oh, I have to say. I think it's fucking awful. God fucking damn it, man. <laughs> <laughs> no, but really, this episode is actually really yeah. good. Let's let's. There get are. It. Yeah, let's get right into it. Oh, thank you, thank you. And for my first trick... Okay, I will say one thing that they kind of got wrong, and that's the bit with how Zatanna speaks backwards. In the uh, comics and other continuities and stuff, uh, Zatanna's, uh... When she speaks, she doesn't say the sentence backwards. She says each word in the correct order, but the words are backwards. In this, they just reverse the sentence's recording. I guess it's just this way would be a lot It easier. would be a lot more convenient instead of, like, having a, someone say a sentence and then just cutting out each one and reversing each one and putting them in the right order. That would be definitely, that would definitely be annoying. Yeah. Yeah, aside from that. And I don't know yeah. Zatanna at all, so, like, yeah. this didn't bother me. Uh. Ta da! You, what sort of two bit sorceress do you think you are? I will say, I, I do like how they decide to give Wanda the the accent, like, in the MCU, like, in the earlier, her earlier appearance in the MCU. E. And I'm getting pissed. Two bit. Perhaps, Perhaps I was being generous. I will say another neat little touch here Perhaps is when Mysterious. when Zatanna uses the chains, they're blue. Perhaps I was but when being Scarlet generous. Witch uses them, they're red. They're purple. <laughs> I also I okay. Something that. I wanted. Oh. Yeah, go on. Something I like I liked about this is that throughout the fight, Zatanna is still prioritizing putting on a show. Like, of course, she's still like in this fight, but at the same time, it's not like the highest of priorities to her. If that makes sense. Yeah, she's being showy. It's great. And also, this is hilariously adorable, not gonna lie. <laughs> Just angry bunny. What would I say be grounds for being cut out? I won't say anything. Also, if you funny thing if you notice though, these are all a death these are all the cards are all actually from Death Battles board game. If you look, you can actually see like in the bottom right one. Oh, I've never played it. I do fair, I don't think we would have a lot of people that actually I don't think I know anyone that has the card game. Does Death Battles research really even have it? I don't know. Anyways. Huh? Also, a thing I do like here is how when Wanda's pissed, her eyes are red. Oh. But then they just stop glowing here when she looks at the card. That's really neat. It's fun. And then, Superman on card. Boom. <laughs> That's just funny to me. Which then, which but this also brings out a bit of a problem I have. This just sort of comes out of nowhere. Uh, and then I guess you could say that, but I really uh, okay. Superman, the Superman punch does come out of nowhere, but that does lead up into one of the coolest parts of the episode. 
I'd say this calls for an offense. Also, before before I go into the next part, when Wanda summons that that animation, that those effects are really like the cubes. Good. Yeah, that's really good. Then we get Hulk coming in. I want to point out just when Hulk comes in for the first time. Look at look at the tennis face. Holy shit! It's the Incredible Hulk. Yeah, and the, this is one of the coolest parts I love about the episode. How it's a bit of Superman versus the Hulk, and the uh, Zatanna brings in Thor by summoning him. Wonder Woman to help as well. And then Thor. Damn! I can't too. believe Hulk. I can't believe Hulk took another L. <laughs> While Thor here, meanwhile, ratified his loss back in season four. But yeah, I will say, I do really like how they did, um, this whole, like, superhero summoning bit. It's a really small detail that they didn't really, like, need to do. But it's honestly just really cool. Plus, the, and it doesn't go on for, like, too long. It, it they just summon two heroes and that's it. I know, like, a lot of some people would want more. But the thing is, these two, they're not summoner characters. They're not, like, uh, they're not, like, from your, like, Yu-Gi-Oh! or, like, or Pokemon or stuff like that. They don't. Their main gimmick isn't uh, calling others for help. So this all goes on for all, the perfect amount of time, and it summons two of the heavy, big heavy hitters from both Marvel and DC. I, I see where you're coming from. I think I'm in the camp that would want to see more done with this. Because I mean, if you're gonna fair, bring this in at all, have done I think three, and they they could have brought in like the. Uh, and maybe as another callback, they could go do Batman versus Captain America, but it might have been unnecessary. I guess. Like, you know, have the more, like, street-level characters uh, do a fight, but again, that might have taken a little too long. What we got was good. Uh, I like what we got. Do you know the huh? difference between you and I? Power! Oh, and that transition, that transition, the curtains parting you and I. to reveal it's Wanda's headgear, that's really good. Oh, yeah. Like, it's these kinds of effects this episode does really well. And then it just, I really like how it's just only Zatanna and the stage now. It's not Zatanna's floating in midair, like, in front of this, she's just on the stage itself. That's really neat, because cause, uh, Wanda's behind it, because it was the curtains, yeah? It's really neat yeah. attention to detail. Do you think the audience is dead? Not yet. I mean, they're not, but anyway. <laughs> and also... Well, I think the difference is... Presentation! <laughs> this uh, episode, automatic 10 out of 10. We got a megabyte of reference. We can just stop the recording right now. <laughs> Oh, no, yeah, just stop recording. All right, thanks for everyone. As for the next time, uh... <laughs> oh, yeah, go, but yeah, going on. I really like this. This is a really neat transition from like Wanda crushing her fist to the blow, and just the hand drawn bit leading. Uh, like it smoothly transitions back into the sprite. It's really well done. Is the town sprite custom? I. I think so. I don't believe anyone's made a Mugen of... I don't think anyone's actually made, like, a Mugen character for Zatanna. I, I could be wrong. But, but yeah, this is just, like, really well done. I really like it. Then... Uh oh Here we go. And I know a trick when I see one. Give me your phone. <laughs> there, yeah, there is no death battle. Die. That's <laughs> like how she goes in front of the aspect ratio. Yeah, which it's well, like what? That's actually another neat attention to detail. The whole fight earlier, they the aspect ratio has been like this. Like when uh, when the ra when you go back earlier to like when the uh, rabbits first pounce on a uh, Wanda, like uh, like right here, the aspect ratio changes the direction. No, I did not even notice that. Yeah, and then when uh, Wanda, when Wanda, when then uh, then when Zatanna reaches out like this, 
we get that transition, and for we go like that. And for the rest of the fight, that's though, honestly really pretty. Yeah, that's like really that well done. Her... Plus, after this, the aspect ratio goes back to like the full screen of the video. Mm -hmm. It's again the amount of detail. Oh, and this just looks really pretty too. Like all the various universes, and the all the stars in the background are probably also different universes too. Universes. You can't run for character acting where she yanks her hand away. Yeah. Universes. Yeah. Like it's small, but I love it. Yeah. Now make like a magician and disappear. <laughs> Also, I just love this. This is this, this is my this, this is, is so charming. This is probably my favorite scene. Like, it's, I don't know why I really like him. It's just it's just adorable. I want to point out something that uh, this might be a bit of a small issue. I have it's very minor. This is like my only complaint. Like Wanda says this, the make a magician and disappear. So you're telling me, but the whole time she was staring forward. Why is she surprised when Zatanna throws the universes in her faces and juggles them? Did she just this let her Zatanna just vibe. pick up a couple of universes to play with? This just gives me similar vibes to fucking Shao Kahn versus Akuma, where he's looking in Akuma's direction and then gets punched in the face. Yeah. And also, just the yeah, all three, three in a row. I really like how the uh, Scarlet Witch does the classic, like, I'm pissed off eye twitch thing. Just, uh, the best part is how she reacts to the other hits. Like, she, like, recoils uh, there, there, but for the last one, she doesn't even flinch. She's that pissed. It's great. It is. And I also, and then she just, she just loses it. And I want to say, that voice acting, when she screams there, that is so impressive. Like, listen to that. It sounds guttural. It goes on for quite a bit, and that's really impressive. I really like that. Like, she followed up that scream with another really good vocal performance. Like, Wanda's voice actor for this is really good, as is Zatanna's. The vocal performances in this episode are fantastic. Like, it shows, like, desperation mixed with anger. Like, I'm done. Yeah, I like, don't the care. Anger, like, anger, desperation, as well as, like, a slight slippage of sanity. It's, it's, it's really well impressive how, like, actors can portray so many, like, different emotions and themes through just one sentence. Oh, definitely. Major props, like, just voice actors in general. Yeah. And once she says no more sound, the, after this, if you, uh, another attention to detail, there is no more actual, like, sound playing. There, in the, when I extended the music track, there, the actual audio, it doesn't, like, silence completely. It's like the, you know the term sound of silence? It has the audio track I think... is like a hollow, like a hollow sound to it to imitate the silence thing. Yeah, I think what I think I get what you mean. Yeah, and Wanda, as she says, no more sound. We literally, we barely hear anything else, which is really well done. I, I imagine that was also like really nice for the uh, audio mixers too. <laughs> they got like a couple of seconds of break. <laughs> a disappearing act was the first thing Dad ever taught me. I also really like uh, also how intensely she just the uh, uh, Zatanna and uh, making sound despite Wanda saying no more sound. It just shows like how she just noped that in a way. And also they I don't know if it was intentional. And you know what? I, knowing knowing the rooster teeth and they're like writing, they all, I'm pretty sure they absolutely wrote the line on purpose. It sounds like it's a dad abandoning joke. Oh. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> so I just like her turning Wanda's insult on its head. 
Yeah, that, that's a good turn of phrase, unintentional uh, dad abandoning joke, but yeah. I think that's you just looking too deep into things. Also, I want to point out another detail here is like the intensity of the uh, energy in her eyes. If you notice now, they're wider. <laughs> but after this, they narrow because uh, to reflect like her eyes. Oh yeah. Yeah. Act was the first thing that ever taught me. And for my final trick, smash it rolls. No more witches. I really like this effect here. This whole yeah. This whole like death scene is really well animated. Yeah, and also, I really like how, uh, the, after, uh, Zatanna says, no more witches, the flames in Wanda's eyes are gone. And, like, you can see just how she realizes how screwed she is here. I should have gone to therapy. The sound's slowly coming back in. Yeah, like, the first uh, part of the wood box, when it hits her, it kind of sounds muted. But it slowly grows stronger. Mm -hmm. Also, that saw is hilariously animated well. Like, it is so smoothly animated, that saw. Oh, yeah. I also like the finisher in general just being, like, a generic magician back. Also, this is probably just a me thing, but that first close-up we get of Zatanna looks a lot like Ryuko. Oh, no, no, no. Yeah, I saw that, too. I uh, Believe me, I saw that, too. <laughs> but, yeah, going on, another... The thing I like about this is that not only is it, like, a deadly version of a classic magician trick, I also like how it was quick. It wasn't, like, stupidly drawn out and, like, uh, overly gory or anything like that. It also wasn't the disintegration death, which is what I was thinking was going to happen. Yeah, it was quick, quick and I guess not really clean, but it was like a quick kill, and uh, it still works really well. Like, if this was like, I don't know, back in season 3, they probably would have like done an uncomfortably long shot of uh, Zatanna, uh, like uh, Scarlet Witch getting like slowly sawed or something. Oh, probably, yeah. Yeah, so, like, I really like the, again, smoothly animated, a really quick kill, done really well. Yeah, really, this episode surprised me with just, like, how good it was. Like, the quality was, I liked it a lot. Oh, yeah. Also, as, Like, there are some things oh, that I do I'm gonna, have to I'm gonna find you. The frame that I'm going to leave it on is the mo is when give me your phone. There we go. Anyways... The next contestant in the death battle. You. you. <laughs> yeah, this episode was, like, really well done. I, aside from the, like, uh, Wanda staring forward, which, again, that's uh, only a minor thing, I have zero things to actually, like, complain about this episode. This was, like, just really well done. The animation is fantastic. I really like it as well, though. I think it's hard for me to describe, but... The pacing of the fight feels off to me. As I said, like, the whole Justice League versus Avengers thing they included. If they were going to include it at all, I felt like they should have gone a bit further with it. Yeah, that's, uh, yeah. And... And the other thing? I think that's about it. I think it's just pacing. Yeah, but aside from, personally for me... Uh, if I'm to rate this, I'm, I'm being honest, I, I'd give this animation 10 out of 10, personally. This is, like, just really well done. I think I'm fine with giving it a 10 out of 10 as well. Yeah, like, uh, I think a lot of us had, like, I think nowadays a lot of people just have low expectations for Evolve vs. DC episodes because, you know, people are tired of them. But this was just, like, really well done. It was a really creative fight, had a... And even though, like, both... Unlike a uh, Doctor Strange versus Doctor Fate, where it was more oddly too much, a fist more, fight. yeah, and they didn't really get to show too much of their. Ma I mean, they showed a bit, but they didn't get to do everything in their magic arsenals. You feel like uh, you for this. You don't say like, ah, oh, Zatanna or Scarlet Witch didn't get to do this thing. No, they did pretty much all the heavy hitting stuff for them. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Uh, oh yeah, and the song is a slap. It's oh yeah, the song's good. really good. It's like, 
It has some traces of a strange fate in there, which I do really like since that track is still really good. He also recently remade it. Oh yeah, I listened to that. It's it's a really good remaster. I, I, really, I wonder if someone could try editing that over the original fight or something. It would be nice. But yeah, with that said, uh, a good episode. And then we'll, we'll just quickly move on and uh, briefly talk about the next time, which I am quite excited for. Jonathan Joestar vs. Tanjiro. Aren't you more of a Jonathan vs. Gintoki kind of uh, guy? No, that's a different jo Jojo. I'm that Joseph Joestar, the second one. Jonathan's the first Jojo. Oh. Yeah, I'm really excited what for What are the this. connections between Jonathan and Tanjiro? Uh, both of them are the... Uh, basically, both Jonathan and Tanjiro are like kind, uh, kind heart uh, so uh, gent gentleman hero characters. They they're both sword fighters that they utilize a fighting style based around breathing, uh, and uh, both both of them fight uh, su supernatural beings and night vampires and demons respectively. Their siblings also turned into said monsters. Though so in John in Tandro's case, Nezuko stayed as like a, a friendly friendly demon, while you you know what happened, you know. Well, yeah, but yeah, going. Uh, but with that said, I'm excited for this one because if you deal versus Alucard, show that JoJo can have a fantastic episode. And Demon Slayer is known. If you, I don't know if you've watched it, but have you at least seen clips of how good the animation in Demon Slayer is? I've seen like one Sword Clash clip on Twitter. It was so insane. It was better than every anime, which is just typical. Yeah, so I, I'm very excited for uh, this episode and what we, uh, personally, I'm pro definitely rooting and betting Jonathan for this. Uh, but yeah. I have really no stakes in this match. Yeah, yeah, I know, like, since you I... don't follow either, but yeah. With that all said, though, uh, thank with that all said, I guess we can wrap this up. But, uh, thank you for watching, and we'll see you all next time. Have a good one.